Out of weather, a beautiful day right now, but we've yeah. got changes on the way, Nick, at least for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So we'll need to enjoy this while it lasts. Yeah, exactly. You know, today, tomorrow, also another really nice day. But uh, as you mentioned, the weekend, the good thing is it doesn't last very long. Okay. It's not like we're going Quick. into a cool, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not like a new pattern that's going to set the stage for colder weather uh, at all. In fact, a longer pattern beyond that. It's nice, and mild, uh, and whatnot. And drier, too, for throughout much of next week. But we do have some changes on the way, so enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the mild weather, get out there, go for a jog, take a walk. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, for the next, let's say, 36 to 48 hours before those big changes really take notice here. 79 right now in the city, 70 also in the Bay Area. Davis at 79 degrees. We're still holding on to some 80s out there across parts of the valley. And nothing more than just a few high clouds passing by from time to time. So all is well. We are under control right now of high pressure, keeping the storm track well north of our area. And as we move through tomorrow, we're still going to be under control of high pressure, which means the morning starting off pretty nice, comfortable 40s, low 50s to start off the day. And then we're quickly climbing through the 60s and 70s into the low 80s in many spots across the valley and dry too. This is five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, not a drop of rain across our area. Friday, I do have a slight chance of an afternoon shower, especially for the Sierra. We may even have a thunderstorm pop up, but I'm thinking right now the timing of this next system holds off until later Friday into the overnight Saturday morning. That's when the rain overspreads from west to east, and we will see Again, thunderstorms associated with this through the day Saturday, even in the valley. So we will be monitoring that, especially during the afternoon. Once this batch of rain pushes east into the higher elevations in the Sierra, the snow level starting off fairly high, about 7,000, 8,000 feet. But they will be dropping. So areas in the Sierra that start off as rain quickly turn over to snow and the snow levels will drop down to just about 4,500 feet by Saturday afternoon. You can see the snow coming down there across the Sierra. So, of course, winter driving impacts are expected travel delays, but I'm not looking at a lot of accumulating snow. Most of that really above 6,000 feet. And when it comes to snowfall, I am expecting about two to five inches above 6,000 feet. So on the impact scale for what we see in this year, storm wise, this is very minimal. All right, so not expect to see a whole lot. Just keep that in mind if you are heading up to the slopes this weekend for some winter driving conditions. Otherwise, temperatures will be dropping off big time for Saturday, especially. Tomorrow, we're still holding on to the warmth. 82 in the forecast for Sacramento, 85 down to Stockton, even out to Modesto. Temperatures across the high country running into the 60s as well for tomorrow. And then 50s on Saturday. So a big drop, but we warm back up into the 70s next week under plenty of sunshine for the foothills next week, climbing into the 60s. And then same trend for the Sierra once you get past this quick moving storm system for Saturday. Hunter. All right, Nick. Thank